To blatantly borrow... No, let's make that steal. From the legendary movie of over 40 years ago that was Network, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore. <laughs> This week, I was told what size my lasagna ready meal should be <laughs> and lectured not to save money on buy one, get one free deals. This same bunch of hectoring Knowles, otherwise known as Public Health England, have also in the past told me I need to be careful on icy paths as I could slip, <laughs> to eat a prescribed number of fruit or veg and, something I'd never have figured out, to open a window if I get hot <laughs> in the summer. You and I pay £3.9 billion a year to 5,000 full-time staff to produce this asinine drivel. As a result of this nannying nonsense, we've bred a generation who faint at the first sign of snow. <laughs> so, I'm asking you to get your ample backside <laughs> off your chairs and yell, I'm not going to take this anymore! <laughs> <laughs>have every right to tell me to bog off. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a very good performance. Oh, thank you very much. Peter the Finch, the as Hollywood Peter here. Finch, you're the new Peter and, Finch and on the, by on the, the way, pledge. Can I tell you, by an incredible coincidence, mm. Paddy Chayefsky, from whom we heard in the Oscar debate, yeah. he wrote Network. Did he? Yeah, really? it's a pure, pure oh, oh, coincidence. Wow. Yeah. You, Rachel. Actually, Public Health in England, you'll be delighted to hear, actually gets... 4.3 billion. Oh, is it? Oh, it's yes. oh, gone up. I'll get you angry. It's gone up a bit like <laughs> your weight. Yeah. No, Nick. I think the thing is here is it's really hard to tell people you love and I love you, that they're overweight. Right. And so you sort of... Yeah. Where's this going? I'm I mean, it's really hard to turn to your husband, for example, right. and say, darling, when we married, you know, you were 12 stone, now you're 15 stone, you're a tub of lard. Right. You know, What's go get to the... Public Health England? Yeah. Because Public Health England <laughs> takes the place. Now we're all so weasel-worded oh. and we're so snowflaking, we're so terrified of using words like fat or fat-shaming. Actually, you need... You need the government to set the tone. But they're not setting the tone. The thing about Public Health England is it's failing miserably. People are, you know, when you, when you have a society that you, we, you tell doctors not to tell people they're fat in case you embarrass them or you hurt them, you know, we have to get tough. If, we, if we're going to tackle... I said. But, but doctors gonna, and parents aren't doing the job, so we need to... But, I'm, but I, yes, I'm saying individuals, and Public Health England gets all this money, and they are failing miserably because the population is getting fatter by the second. Let me ask you a question. John. Do you accept that we have a problem in this country with, particularly amongst kids, uh, with obesity? Of course. Yes, of yeah. course. Of course. What would you do about it? Then? Um, absolutely mandate school gym class, um, a PE class, if it's yep. like and try. I don't know where we'll get them from, but try and get school fields and school uh, playing fields back, back and get kids to exercise. No, no, more. no. But then, what do you do with the adults? Because what you're talking about is for children, next right. generation. I totally right. agree. But what do we do with the adults? Who do you really ready? want to know what you do? Well, mm -hmm. you're not going to like this, okay. but I think I've said this before. Obese people who present themselves to the NHS, they get their first treatment free, and then if you don't go on a course and lose some weight, you start paying towards your treatment. I, I think it was... But and also, we did ask. And I think also there's no point in asking the food industry to cut down the amount of fat and salt. And Why sugar. not? It's going to save no. 4.5 billion Hang on a, a second. Year. You're not, in, you in haven't let me finish my sentence. Point. The whole point, don't ask them, force them to. Make them cut down. Because, because there's no point in letting them make killer foods and then tax us on it. There's no point in that because lots of people don't want to be educated on food. You know, if, if we're but, going to produce but, food, but produce surely, it with less killer stuff. But surely the, 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 the role of a government is to try and keep its citizens as healthy but as possible. But they're not doing no, it. No, let me finish. So what is the problem with them educating and advising? But At the end of the day, nobody has to do what they're saying. It's a suggestion. Nick, really and I think they graphic. have been successful. I think Five a day, for I, sure. In a way, I sort of agree with Nick. There's a distinction between... I think the primary role of government is to keep its citizens safe, yes. not healthy. To but yes. when there is incontrovertible in the evidence that the, that the nation is in the grip of binge eating yep. and binge drinking, I think the government has to do something. 45% increase in alcohol-related deaths for the over 50s. Wow. Okay. That is a lot. Well, Greg, you asked me, do I agree? And I did. We have yeah. got obese children. Where were you going with that point? Um, well, well, I mean, well, because I think they're trying to... I mean, what, look at this clip from uh, the chief nutritionist at Public Health England. We are very used to, as a nation, consuming much more than, the, than we need. We're worried about, um, about telling people what to do too much. Um, people, you know, they need freedom of choice. But actually, our choices are costing the NHS a lot of money. I mean, I'm a bit like you. I uh, basically think we should, the government should keep out of most things. Yes. 
I think, though, if you identify a massive national problem yeah. that is emerging and is getting worse, <coughs> government has a responsibility to, to say, well, can we do something about this? Can what we my fellow this? pledgers have all done yes. so brilliantly is you focused on obese children, which is quite right. I, OK, fine. But telling people to open the window and if they get hot. Yeah. And or wear sturdy shoes. Might, or, or today, today's, this yes. very the newspaper today, the Sun newspaper today, Public Health England, here we go again, <laughs> urging people not to have birthday cake with their work colleagues, instead to make a cake of cucumber, uh, <laughs> celery and, I think, tomatoes. But, oh, what a load of right, cakey let's, cobblers. Let's ask you, really. you, you used to be quite a lot bigger than I did, 40, uh, just under £50. Pounds, yeah. You decided to lose all that. I yeah. did. Now, a lot of people would like to do that, but don't do it and can't do it. They're well, they can. they can. Yes, they can. Well, you, you, all right, they find it they're unable it's, to it's do it. No, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's they're not unable to do it, they're unwilling to do it. I'm not that you, muffin out, because I can't. I, well, literally, I've got my mind... Yeah, because I'm, I'm in that mindset now. Yeah. But go on, it's, isn't it a bit more than that? Isn't it about the sort of food that we now eat compared to the food that was eaten 30 years ago? It's all processed, it's full of ago. sugar yeah. and syrup. Sugar and, 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 and actually, in the case yeah. of the, the cake and, and offices, I mean, we can laugh at that, but it is serious, because at the end of the day, how many days sick do people have off each year? Because of their unhealthy... Healthy choices. So, so why wouldn't a, 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 an employer want to actually give their should, employees because different options? Because you just have the employees. What you just want there to do? What, you want to promote options. your business? You, you can have, have a, a vegan I, cake. You I can have a cake. Chicken, you can have a cake without sugar. There's lots of ways you can still enjoy if, yourself in if, a healthy way. If you can see, I would want to be told. If you can you see, know? you're sitting on this time bomb that's getting worse, and that uh, there's a whole generation of kids going to come through who are going to get worse. Well, isn't it the responsibility of government to yeah. try to do something? One hundred. But the policy is in looking away from the windows in the, 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 the summer. Yeah. No, the you're, policy you're taking the consistent grade. Hang on, mate. You're taking the sun line on. Yeah. It's, the no, sun I mean, the sun. The sun spends its and life the picking. Cake. Yes, but the sun spends <laughs> its life doing that. That's irrelevant. <laughs> there is a there is a real issue of. A, Obesity amongst kids. Yes, yes, I agree. Yes, and know that. And and obesity <laughs> in a society. Carol, the, the, icy roads. You the, get involved in it. You know, don't wear slippy shoes on icy yes, roads. Yes, all that. Days. But you know, I, I mean, I just want to go back to this. You know, the the, the the policy on obesity is inconsistent. If they had a consistent policy, it might work. You can't. We keep. We tell. We tell. We can't tell people they're fat. We keep telling fat people that it's an addiction, a disease. It is not. It's a, it's a self-inflicted. It, it is not an addiction, it June. Is. It's people it's who an just. To food. You've it's never been fat in your life. We've both been fat. Are still, still out, fat, right? still fat. It's a bit know, of both. know what it's about. No, you know. It, it, addiction in the sense that you don't want to stop, but you can stop, and we we all know what but you're that's doing to lose weight. And we, the all government can't you ever. Don't want to stop, but you the can government stop. cannot make us stop eating, and that's a fact. You have to make a decision yourself to change the way you eat, or you're going to be fat all your life. But Rachel, but, you've been surprisingly quiet. You, I mean, you said a, a degree of support. What else do you want to, to add to this? Do you agree with Carol that? most people should be able to dress them themselves without being hectored by Public Health England. Well, I, I think it's a pure matter of health coming together with us unable as a country to afford the obesity crisis the that's time. coming, that's not with us and actually is getting worse. If one in, in five kids go to primary school obese and one in three le yeah, leaves primary school obese, it's a serious problem. Okay. It, it's what, well, you're talking about the whole nanny state yeah, issue? Yeah, it's absurd. Yes. What about... Uh, the trains have been going through a part of South East London I've used for over 150 years. This icy... But don't stand near the edge of the platform. No, but, you no, could no, slip. And, and where and the hell and, did and you know? we Wear the, a vest Nick, when you go out. When we had the coal snap, they actually said, you've got to think about what you've got to stock up on. Oh, yeah, we we the bill. Bill. Oh, We're not telling anybody anything that's bad for them. So how is this a problem?